Good morning, YouTube. Morning. We slept in. <laughs> Our room is really dark, and we woke up, and we thought it was like seven. And I yep. looked at my phone. It was ten to ten, and breakfast finished being served at ten thirty. So we chucked on our clothes and ran downstairs and managed to get breakfast before they started packing it away. It was good, but it was worth running down for. One so dollar. Now it's eleven thirty, and we're trying to get ourselves sorted to get out the door. And you guys need to see the view because it's pretty awesome. You ready? Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. There's the view. Complete with the haze coming from the bushfires in Tasmania. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> and they have yellow taxis in Victoria. Every taxi I have seen is yellow. It's like New York City. Oh, look, a tram. It's going to go in a minute. So we're going to find ourselves a tram ticket and we're going to head into Melbourne. Check it out. curious about if you live in St Kilda when it comes to like football does that mean you are a fan of St Kilda or do you randomly choose another team because in Tasmania people seem to completely arbitrarily just choose a team which fascinates me because they're so passionate about something that has been arbitrarily chosen so is it the same way here in Victoria if you're Victorian let us know in the comments because I'm curious You're gonna get sick of looking at trams. <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> what, in it? No, on it. So oh. It eats one and it's all pink. Ah. And it's got a piece of Rebel Wilson on it. Right, so you saw an advertisement with Rebel I thought you meant Rebel Wilson was on that tram. Oh. <laughs> so we've got the Palais Theatre, which we're going to tomorrow, and it's right next to Luna Park. Somebody's vlogging. <laughs> and I'm vlogging him vlogging. This is the thing, we're doing, I'm doing an Ashley and Tyson, Gardner Quad Squad, you yeah. need to check them out. Um, they often vlog each other, and then you get the perspective of both, and it's quite cute. <laughs> and they have, they have quads, two lots of identical twins, you should check them out. So we've been told that we can get a public transport card at 7-Eleven, so here we are. I think we've worked out what number tram we need to hop on, so we're going to give it a try. We have no idea where we're going. <laughs> but we're on a tram. <laughs> we're in Melbourne, we made it. <laughs> so our gamble paid off, we are in the city, so the tram took us here. And we found ourselves right outside Federation Square, so we're going to go have a look at that now. Pixar Putt is a pop-up putt-putt golf experience that travels around Australia. Try saying that fast. Melbourne was established in 1835 near the Yarra River, which flows from the Yarra Ranges. The local indigenous people originally called it Birrarung. It was an important source of food for them. The free settlers that first founded Melbourne came from Van Diemen's Land, now called Tasmania, and were led by John Batman. That means that Melbourne is actually a colony of Launceston.
Princess Bridge was built in 1888. And just up here we've got a modern looking one. We're now at Melbourne Central. Just tuna. Yep. What do you reckon, baby? Did I choose good? Yeah, I found some uh, some things I like. Yeah. This is so cool, so fun. I've wanted to go to a real sushi train restaurant in so long, and I'm so happy. Chicken sticks or one there. Oh really? Let's have a look. I think it might be. It looks like it. It is, it's chicken sticks <laughs> Just for you. So we've come all the way to Melbourne to a sushi train restaurant and we found chicken schnitzel sushi. <laughs> That's my kind of thing. Chocolate. We found the coolest thing inside the Melbourne Central Shopping Centre an old historic building inside the new building. This is the Coop's Shop Tower. It was built in 1888 and last used in 1961. They kept this piece of Melbourne's history to use as a focal point for the new shopping centre in 1991. Molten metal will be dropped from the top of the 50 metre tower. As it fell, it would form a round shape and then be solidified by cold water at the bottom. This is how they made bullets back in the day. We've had a great time exploring Melbourne. We're heading back to the hotel now and we're looking forward to a nice swim. How busy is this tram? It's insane, isn't it? We're holding on to that. <laughs> I have long. one seat. And then there's this bit here I put all our shopping on. I think everyone wants to go to the beach for a swim. <laughs> we got door side service. <laughs> Schlurpy. <laughs> it's only three bucks and it's a mega one. <laughs> mm, good for a hot day like this. <laughs> Vlogging each other again. We have just sat in that thing for about an hour. It's been good. It's been good. Been reading Star Trek, the Eugenics Wars. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a little picnic on the bed for tea tonight. <laughs> Veggies. <laughs> We're going to go see if we can see the light and fire show at the Crown Casino. Gonna catch another tram. Well, we're at 
the Crown Casino now. We just got to figure out where this fire display happens. We've got seven minutes to figure it out. Otherwise, we've got to wait another hour. I don't think the seagulls liked it very much, <laughs> but when the thing went off, you could feel the heat. It was uh -huh. very intense. Very cool. Yeah, it was busy in there, wasn't it? Oh, it's insane. Like a city inside that casino. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so glad we didn't book to stay here because I would have not hoped. It's very painful. Time to head home. It's a funny looking thing. <laughs> what on earth was that? That was probably a hen's party. <laughs> So while we were waiting for the tram to bring us out here, one pulled up and there were people on board playing all this music. <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> they were like bongos and they were dancing and yeah, clapping. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. They weren't being silly, they were genuinely singing and they were having a ball like, and the whole tram was joining in. Yeah, never seen anything like it. <laughs> it was very cool. day exploring Melbourne and showing you the sights. I hope you've enjoyed it too. It's been pretty cool. There's been lots of interesting stuff we've seen and there's more to come. Tomorrow we're going to see For King and Country at the Palais Theatre and we're pretty excited about it. Right Linda? Yep. So, see you next time.